Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Please lift up your two hands and give God thanks for answered prayers this morning. Give him thanks also for those amazing testimonies of transformation. Give him glory, give him praise. Larush Kamala Rodianitas, Zezuriale, Kretoni Amar, Embroshigane Brodia, Madikene Porandit, Wambrot in Kradish, Alepanit, Wemblokotian is his old, Wabe Kenetuza, Rakano, Prektano, Raba, She Eko Patu, Senepola, Kerato Sino. Ye credish ale prank dalabaraduze. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your manifest presence in our midst. Thank you for the mission of the wonder double agenda that's ongoing. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' precious name, we have given thanks. Amen. Ask him to speak to you this morning one more time. Jesus, I want to hear from you today. Speak to me right now. Cause my ears to hear your word and cause my heart to understand your sayings. And move me forward by the light of your word today. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Lord Jesus, thank you for hearing us. Thank you for showing us light this morning. In Jesus' precious name. Amen. Give the Lord a big hand of praise. Praise the Lord and more than a conqueror. Have you forgotten? Praise the Lord and more than a conqueror. Congratulations. Please get seated. Every prophetic word delivers by faith. No prophetic comes through on its own. It's wonderful to receive it. But equally important is to engage with it according to the rules. Remember, blessed is she that believes. Prophetic word is converted to a blessing with faith. I believe this, and I believe what is required to make it happen. Amen. Just imagine that God said, Arise, get down to Lagos, and we are confessing it day and night, yet we will not move. Um, that's where he will stop. Imagine God said, now get out of the old church into this forest and say, yes, I've heard you, Lord. I know you are ever faithful to anything you say. What if I do in that uh, forest? Do it here. This is where the people are. One will be there for life. It's one thing to receive a prophetic word. It's another thing to engage with what is required to actualize it. And faith is a fundamental requirement for actualizing any prophetic word. It's not zeal. It's faith. It's not power. It's faith. It's not passion for God. It's faith. No one will ever see a prophetic come true without his faith actively alive. His faith actively alive. Like we all know, the gates of hell are all out to resist the continuous growth of the Church of Christ. Not just our local assembly. The Church of Christ is the greatest headache of the devil, the spread, the growth. 
just like light, dark, darkness has light as its worst enemy. Worst enemy. So is the devil himself the worst enemy of the growth and the expansion of the Church of Christ? Is the light of the world and the devil is the darkness of the world? The enemy is eternal. It will only stop at the judgment of the last day when we'll be banned in chains forever and ever. But it's on. It's on. Darkness and light are avowed enemies. Avowed enemies. No wonder it comes down to make war with the seed of that woman who we are. Because we are the light of the world, and it's the darkness of the world, so the, <laughs> the two must not meet. And any attempt of darkness to confront light, we end the darkness. Praise God. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not be able to prevail against it. So it goes about blinding the minds of people, lest the light of the glorious God of Christ, who is the image of God, should shine unto them. No, 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 don't join them. No, 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 don't go there. But it will take faith along with prayer and fasting to dislodge the gates of hell against blocking access to the continuous growth of the church. This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Why could we not cast out that devil? This kind goeth not out but by prayer and fasting. Why could we not move this thing forward? It won't go forward without prayer and fasting. And not just pray and fast for praying sake. Praying and fasting along with faith. He said, first because we don't believe. However, this kind will not also. Faith is fundamental to it. And prayer and fasting is what engages that faith to deliver. Ephesians 6 and verse 16. It says, above all, taking the shield of faith, you'll be able to quench all the fiery darts of the devil. So when faith is being resisted, then couple with prayer and fasting, and faith will deliver maximally. Couple with prayer and fasting, and faith will deliver maximally. This is very important. Show me your faith without the works that empowers faith for maximum delivery. And I'll show you my faith by my works. <coughs> we have no choice. Wherever prayer stops is where church growth stops. Just like wherever pregnancy stops is where family growth stops. If you are tired of being pregnant, you are tired of having more children. He <laughs> said, why do the Edens rage? And people imagine a very thing. That is always a garden against the church of Christ everywhere. He that sits in heaven shall love, the Lord shall help them. But ask of me. And I'll give you the hidden for an inheritance. Don't just watch. 
ask of me. Take it by force. That's what makes it work in the kingdom. Psalm 2 and the verse 1 to 8. Ask of me. They can't, they can't stop it, but you make demand for it. Wherever pregnancy stops, like I mentioned, child behind it stops, and family growth stops. Who has had such a thing? Who has seen such a thing? Before she traveled, she brought forth? No. Before her pain came, she gave her a man child? No. For as soon as I travelled, she brought forth. Pregnancy must be sustained to labor, and labor to child bearing, and child bearing to family growth. It's the same with the church. If you ever try to stop this covenant hour prayer, it growth will stop. If we stop the going house, the house will never be filled. Go to the highway and and compare them to come. That woman went after that man and got him. He met with Jesus, got saved, and all those devils that had him in bandage gave up. And he began to enjoy abundant life. You give birth for every child. You give, go into labor room for every child you give birth to. They can't transfer labor. They only can't transfer foundation of a building. That a software moves the foundation of Senate building to Faith Academy and then beauty there. <laughs> no. Every child given back to came out through the labor room. Came out through the process of pregnancy to the labor room. Another one is coming, the same process. Another one must come, the same process. So it gets people tired to the point that if you are not a little flock, it's your father's good kingdom. <laughs> we to give you the kingdom. And you have tried and tried, it's not working. Say, yes. Not all churches will be not all churches will be great. Your own is supposed to be small. <laughs> and they decided to that for failure with failure. You are going places. You are going places. Remember, in the growth of the church lies the glory of the saints. If you're a part of the growth, you are ordained to be a part of the glory. You're a part of the growth, you are ordained to be a part of the glory. They are noble shall be of themselves. Those are all products of church growth. Their governor shall proceed from the midst of them, and I will cause them to come near. For who is this that engages heart? To draw near unto me, said the Lord. They all started as brethren, but because they were engaging their heart in the pursuit of the growth of the church, he made nobles out of them, captains of industries, captains of science and arts, captains of invention. They are all byproducts of a revival. Praise God. Praise God. That's the way it works. Some are working so hard on how to be great. What a wrong step to take. Work hard to keep enhancing your great investment in advancing the kingdom. Your great investment in advancing the kingdom. That person was distributing tracts all over the place. 
Say, young man, come. There's a seminar going on. I want you to be there and go there now. And God said to him, go there. And I sent him. <laughs> and he went there and now do business with a multinational company. That Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 19. Out of them shall proceed thanksgiving and the voice of them that make merry. And I will multiply them, church growth. They shall not be few in number. And I will glorify them in return. And they shall not be mediocre. Amen. Very great deal. It's a big time business. You truly engage, it keeps changing your level. That's the way it works. Praise the Lord. Stand to your feet. Every prophetic word delivers by faith. And faith without works is vain. Show me your faith without your works. There's nothing to show. But I show you my faith by my works. Nothing to show with I believe God. I'm believing God. You walk the works of faith to give it real value. You want the works of faith to give it a real value. Stand to your feet. I mean, lift up your two hands and um, give God thanks for the word because you must be a part of the glory this year. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, now receive it. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, receive it. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, receive it. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, receive it. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, receive it. Grace to be a part of the glory this year, receive it. Grace to engage in the works of faith in advance of the kingdom of God, receive it. Grace to embark. Hallelujah. Grace to embark with the works of faith. Doing the works of faith. In advance of the kingdom of God, receive it now. It covers your secret corners. Covers your open engagement in pursuit of souls and praying for souls and it rewards you openly for it. Pray like a more than a conqueror. Pray like a more than a conqueror. Pray like more than a conqueror. Pray like more than a conqueror. Father, and grace me to engage with the required works of faith in advancing your kingdom this year. I want to see what I've never seen. Help me to do what I've never done. Help me to do what I've never done. Help me to do what I've never done. You sow sparingly, you reap only sparingly. You sow bountifully, you reap bountifully. Now ask him. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. Take that grace, now, everybody. Take it. You are more than a conqueror. Take it. It's your portion. Take it. No slow motion this year. No casual engagement this year. But hearty engagement. Take it from God. It's your right. It's your right on demand. It's your right but only 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 on demand. Take that grace, take that grace.